So why would you donate? Um, well, for one, I don't really uh, need an, a lot of my blood. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> that's a bad answer. Um, would you ever donate blood? Yes. Yeah, I definitely would. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, I would. And why would you donate? I donate because I have blood to give, and I have blood to share, and I want to share it. Some people need it, and it's in me to give. It's just something so easy, so simple to do. Like, I'm an organ donor, so it's the same reason I would do that. I don't need it. I can make more. <laughs> if it regenerates and it comes back, then why not? Because why wouldn't I? If you can, why wouldn't you? It's so necessary. It needs to be done, like there's a shortage. There's always a shortage of blood. But would you ever donate blood? I would, yeah. I would donate blood. Yes, I would. Yeah, I would donate blood. Yes, I would donate blood. Unfortunately, I can't because I don't make the weight requirements. I don't meet the weight requirement. I haven't met like the height weight requirements. How does that make you feel? It's a bit discouraging to be told that my weight, which I've been told is just fine and is healthy, is not enough. <laughs> I actually went to donate two weeks ago, but my iron wasn't high enough. And I'm also anemic. I'm anemic. They have a lot of strict restrictions on it. Even if you're very close to needing it, they still won't let you donate blood. How does it make you feel when you go and you can't donate? Honestly, I cried. <laughs> I have now fainted twice while donating, so I am no longer eligible to donate. Ever? Ever. Really? Yeah. Would you donate blood? Yes. Why would you donate? A kid at our high school had been diagnosed with cancer. My sister had cancer. I was her donor. My grandfather had a situation where he was in need of blood and due to blood donors, he's still here today. If a, like a loved one or someone needed a blood transfusion, then I definitely would. But I think out of the kindness of my heart, I'd be a little hesitant. I've avoided it out of this fear, I guess, of like passing out. Would you ever donate blood? I think that I would, although I, I haven't. Do you know why you haven't? Never got around to it. I just haven't gotten around to it. I've had opportunities. It's not at the top of my priority list. I never actually like stopped because I was either like, going to class or something like that. Uh, I'm too lazy. <laughs> Do you think there's any underlying reasons as to why you don't donate? No, no, I really don't have a problem with needles either. It's just um, me not, not getting out of bed early enough, I guess. Would you donate blood? Yes, I would, and I have donated once in the past. I've donated three times now. I've actually donated 14 times before I started in high school. I used to organize the blood donations for my high school. How were your experiences like donating? I've never once had a bad experience. It's a, it's a really cool experience to be with your community. The people are always really nice and it's just like a great uplifting feeling of how I was able to give somebody life and help somebody. They were almost shocked that there was someone that was younger there. One week after each time I donate, I would be really sore. The needles weren't fitting in my arm and ended up with big bruising and a little bleeding under my skin. It's kind of surreal to watch like blood come out of your arm and just like sit there. The idea of sitting there and seeing the blood escape me, I guess, <laughs> scares me. Uh, I wasn't too bad. Like I don't mind needles. So. They were super chill. I always compared it to like if I ever gave blood for like a procedure, you know. I almost passed out. And then there's like five people coming at me with like cold compresses and I was there for like an extra hour. If time is blood, then I took more of their time than I donated. Uh, <laughs> Why would you donate? Because I want to help people. I would want to leave the world a better place than I found it, and I think donating blood would be one way to do that. I think it's a really great way to show our care and support for one another. But you can't just have like a rich philanthropist come and like bail you out. One person can only give so much in a period of time. I feel like I'm contributing to a very specific subgroup of people that only I can. Would you ever donate blood? Uh, no. I probably would not. I don't think I would, no. <laughs> no, I would not. And why wouldn't you donate blood? Because I have a phobia of needles. Every time I get a needle put in me, I faint. It scares me a lot. I'm scared. I'm really, really scared of it. I have a lot of health problems specific to my blood. I have an autoimmune disease, celiac disease. As a type 1 diabetic, I'm deferred. Would you ever donate blood? Yes, but I can't. Okay, and why can't you? Because I think it's been only a couple months since I last got a tattoo. I got a tattoo in October. Once you get a tattoo, there's a certain period of time where you can't donate blood. It's uncommon for me to go, I'd say, 12 months without being in a, like, a malaria zone. As a child, I lived in France. It was around the time of the mad cow disease scare. Would you ever donate blood? 
Uh, I would absolutely love to donate blood if there were more accessible blood ones near me. Sometimes it's inaccessible, so... I think I haven't been aware of when to do it or how to go about it. I started once I got to university because there's a clinic that comes uh, twice a semester, every semester. Would you donate blood? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Why? Um, I had a bit of like some health problems when I was younger and they kept taking my blood uh, to the point at which I ran out of veins. Once they were done with my right arm, left arm, went to my hands, after all of my like medical things, I said there's no way I'm ever going to donate blood. Would you ever donate blood? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think I would. I would. I would, yes. Yes. And why would you? I think it's good to kind of note that there are people who aren't allowed to donate blood for sort of bigoted reasons. Men who have sex with men are not allowed to donate blood and it kind of propagates AIDS stigma. So would you ever donate blood? I used to give blood all the time. Then along came the tainted blood scandal, the Canadian Red Cross replaced by the Canadian Blood Agency, and I have become a person who is not wanted here. So there's currently an exclusion where gay men can't give blood unless they've been celibate for a particular period of time. Uh, in my country, it's prohibited for me to donate blood because I don't identify as hydrosis. Um, would you ever donate blood? Honestly, no. <laughs> Why not? I hate needles so much. Are there any other reasons? Well, I can't donate blood because there's restrictions on gay people donating blood in Canada, so mm -hmm. it's a great excuse. <laughs> it's a great excuse.